it's crazy for black people to go online and be like, oh, I'm voting for this black woman. She was the first black woman. First off, she ain't black. Then you're being fooled because she's not going to pass anything exclusive for you. So I don't understand why, I don't. We're, why, why we're going through this again. What is going on, everyone's, everyone's, everyone's? We are here and we are back with another episode of Is My Point Valid? Yes, indeed. I am yours truly, Brandon D. And I am Camille A. Stocker. And uh, before we get into it, we want to say, first off, thank you to everyone who continues to show up for us from the bottom of my heart. We appreciate all the love and support. And um, if you're new here, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, share this, share this, share this, and do it again, share this. You feel me? But uh, we're going to go ahead and get into today's topic. So what that's going to be, baby? What's happening in America? Okay. So we all know that um, Sleepy Joe has dropped out of the race. Open Biden, jo- o- o- open border President Joe. President Joe Biden. Let's, let's yeah, let's, hey, whatever you want to call him. You know what I'm saying? He has respect. dropped out of the race, and they are trying to appoint uh, Kamala Harris. No, they're just endorsing her. Well, they're endorsing her. They, she's not a nominee. There is no Democratic nominee right now, so he's endorsing her. Um, I think the Clinton, Clintons have endorsed her. Barack Obama has, has not. not. Um, I I was listening to somebody who's like the st- strategy behind that as to why they not why they are not. Mm-hmm. Um, but right now she is not even. A, there's no Democratic nominee, so we can't even say, oh, we want to choose that um, that person because there's nobody. Um, but, and how that's playing out and how this can play out is that the DNC, which is the democratic little uh, convention, what will happen is somebody will probably say, Hey, I nominate this person to be the, in the, in the, the running presidential of the, of the president, right? Yeah. And one of the names that I continue to hear, which is like ah, is Gavin Newsom, hmm. uh, which he is the governor of California. And I'm gonna say this: we definitely don't want the whole world to be like California right now. Oh, absolutely not. And so one of hit they like there's there's a there's a big possibility that it could be him and then there's another possibility that it's Kamala right so we don't know um who it I, is I feel like with the whole Kamala Harris I think they're they're, they're trying to we've seen this before the whole I'm black I'm a black woman thing um Barack Obama got us with the same rhetoric I'm black, so voting for me because you're black. And I think the most idiotic thing to do for black people is to vote for someone just because they're black. And I say that because I was an idiot back when doggone uh, when Barack Obama was was uh, running. Because I wasn't I was, an idiot. I was uninformed. Uninformed, uh, ignorant. There you go. I wasn't an idiot. I because. I think with politics, you have to grow to understand, especially at at the age of 18. That's when I first voted for him. You do. You're seeing, you you know, you're going off of what um, news outlets are saying, what all the outlets are saying. And so you run with it. What family members are saying, you run with it. And like, you're impressionable, right? Like this is and everybody was like, this is the first black president not knowing that he had other um bloodlines like he's literally biracial um if you look at kamala she is biracial she is not a and she is not a black woman she is an indian does she even have any black in her uh, she's jamaican and Indian, so she is not a black woman. You, she is not what you. If you look at me, I was born to Negro parent. Huh. Okay, so there's not. I don't have a parent who is from this or that. I have ne- two Negro parents. My grandparents are Negroes, and oh, a bunch of Negroes. <laughs> so I am considered a Negro. I like that word, Negro. Negro. 
So she is. She is not. She is. She's an playing Indian off of Indian. the. Uh, go ahead. Mm, yeah, I was gonna say what you. Yeah, were saying. she's playing off of the whole "I'm black, vote for me" um, rhetoric, or, rhetoric or the culture. So the the culture is black culture. Is you see somebody who looks like you, it's automatic they are for us, which yeah. we've sh- which has been shown that. Because someone looks like you does not mean they are for you. And that's with any skin hue. Like like that's any, um, it's not race. I don't want to say race. Ethnicity. That's ethnicity. That's any yeah. ethnicity. That does not necessarily mean that they are for you. Um, if you look at some of her policies, when she was a senator, what was she? What was she? Uh, the district attorney. The district attorney. The in DA. California. The DA in California. You see some of the things that she was doing. And I think this shows a lot of where you, when um, President Biden drops out, not, drops out of the, the running and he says, I'm going to endorse Kamala. And you see a lot of people in their ignorance saying, well, I'm still going to vote Democrat. I'm still going to vote Democrat. Whoever's in that matter. place, I'm going to vote for them. It doesn't matter. And that worries me a little bit. I'm not even worried. It, it It's disheartening a little bit because you, that means that you're not willing to really do the footwork to understand what policies somebody is going for, how these policies will work for you. Um, in an interview that I saw, Kamala, uh, I, I think I'm pronouncing her name right, was kind of like, I'm just not going to put a policy in for black people. It has to work for everyone. Yeah. So black people are having their minds that this is for me. A lot of these programs were maybe have were built off the backs of black people with in mind. We're going to build this for black people. But I think. You forgot that everyone is going to benefit. Some of these, a lot of these bills and policies are not going to be passed if it does not benefit then, America as a whole. They're not going to pass anything exclusive to a one group of people. Right. Because that excludes a whole bunch of other people. And the whole point of being a president or being a leader of a country is to have all people in mind. Yes. So it's crazy for black people to go online and be like, oh, I'm voting for this black woman. She was the first black woman. First off, she ain't black. Then you're being fooled because she's not going to pass anything exclusive for you. So I don't understand why we... Why we're, why, why we're going through this again. I don't understand why we want to be exclusive, right? I don't understand why we don't want to work the United States of America as a whole together, right? It's always the, the black man's plight mm-hmm. and then everyone else. But why isn't the black man trying and, and trying to get where everyone else is going, right? Um, why do we have to be so different in that? And everything political we have to do this different because they're doing this if i do this like them then i'm just like them but some like what is the american dream right like what what is what is the foundation of america and i know some of you will not understand because you're not um this is no shade but you're not reading for comprehension you're going off of emotion and then you're voting you will vote off of emotion yeah. you're not reading history books you're not reading the declaration even of the independence. people that you're listening to online and on the tv they're not even politically inclined so they'll say things based off of their feelings and i don't understand how we got to a place where the media is exclusive to one party how did they get on there i thought the news was supposed to be unbiased reporting but they go on there. They only accept people who believe what they believe. They don't really, when they do get someone who doesn't believe them, they shut them off. They cut them off and tell them, oh, we'll come back to this. You're welcome. Uh, they're really <laughs> gaslighting people. You, you can come back whenever you want to, but we're going to shut you up when you ain't saying what we want you to say. I don't. And that, I think that is like I was, I was saying about people aren't reading the Declaration of Independence and they're not reading the, con- the U.S. Constitution. And you're definitely not reading the Bill of Rights because we have a freedom of speech. We have a freedom of religion. We have these freedoms. And I know a lot of people say, well, they're taking away our freedoms. They're not taking them they're away. Democracy. They're not taking them away. You're not using them because they're hiding what what you're supposed to know and we're not looking into books we're not looking into knowing Mm -hmm. that this is how the united states is working or if you are reading it then you're trying to change this constitution uh, um 
constitutional republic into a democracy. a democracy or socialism and Marxism, um, which is one some of the things that I don't understand because and you, and you it it's very interesting because a lot of the rhetoric that I see regular Joes say you're getting it from CNN, MSC, um, MS, NBC, whatever the heck. Yeah. I don't even know them because I don't partake in those things. Yeah. Right. So you're, you're getting that rhetoric, rhetoric, getting their talk, the same talking points, and then you're repeating it. And then you get on TikTok, you get on Instagram, you get on and all these places exactly and say the same thing. Yeah. You'll teach your children that. Mm -hmm. And so me, I'm thinking like, you don't want to think freely. You nah. don't want it to make sense. No, nah. it, it, making sense and education and intelligence is not one of the things that are that are pushed. It's all listen to me because I'm an authority in this and what I say goes. And that's what most people, not even just black people, most people will do. And they, they keep saying how uh, one party is uh, threatening our democracy. But <laughs> on the other hand, the, the other the party who's saying this is the same ones who are trying to appoint someone into a presidential uh, candidacy when it's supposed to be the people. Yeah, they're not. You can't appoint anybody. There has to. You have to go through. We're going to vote. Well, I get what you're saying, but you I'm think talking that, about just on one side of it. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, well, the one side is appointing. There's clearly you see one side wants somebody, and then you saw that one side really wants somebody. And now he's dropped out, right? So like, but now who do you, you got want? People losing their minds, right? Who do you want? Like literally pounding heads, like, and my. My issue with that is y'all really think these men going to save you? They ain't your savior. You really think what like what has Joe Biden actually done? And I'm, and I'm meaning like. What has he what has he done? I can't think of anything. What has Kamala done besides cackle and laugh at everything and then and then pander to what is it? The BET Awards with mm -hmm. Taraji P. Henson. Girl, I'm, I'm out here in these streets. That's what she said. I'm out here in Man. these streets. That's pandering. And I'm pretty Woman, you like, Indian. Like and you're pandering because we need. What do you need? You need what? what black the, votes. What's the, the black decadence? Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they like to say that. <laughs> decadence. Black decadence. It just seems so uh, 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 top notch. Like of all the opportunities, they're telling you what they think of you, mm -hmm. but you're not taking it because it's just like I got it because Trump is the antichrist. Yeah. Trump is. Can I say? The Nazi Hitler dude, and and it's 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 so interesting because it means you haven't you've never studied you've World never, War Two, you never studied ever. Hitler, you don't know what like I don't even you, think like, y'all know what World War Two is, or I'm where like, it took place, or what was happening at the time because to call someone uh, first off a dictator, a dictator. and then uh, calling them Hitler, do you know what Hitler was doing out here? <laughs> Do you know Hitler was the true Antichrist? I don't this know boy was, was literally knocking off people just because of how they look. How they look. I haven't seen Trump kill anyone based on how they look. Matter of fact, somebody tried to kill him. That and that is disturbing because I've seen, witnessed hmm. a lot of people who say that they believe in God and Jesus and they are that they are saved and had said they wish that, that they, the assassination yeah. would have went through. The, the the mere fact that they call it a failed attempt at assassination is it tells you everything you need to know. They failed. They believe it was a failure. So it would have been a success if they would have killed him. And these are what the, the Democrats because the first off, let's get this clear. I'm not a Republican or a Democrat. Amen, brother. But at the same time, I understand what's going on. Right. I understand both sides of it. And if I was to vote for someone, it wouldn't be Democrat. And it sure wouldn't be a Kamala Harris. Because if you don't, if you, if you, don't think Joe Biden has done anything in the last four years, three and a half years. Then that is 10 times worse for Kamala Harris, because 
Um, I was reading on uh on online how in 2021, um, Joe Biden appointed her at the border. Mm-hmm. The border, they call it a border Caesar or something. It's, 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 I forget what they call it. But she was the one that's responsible for holding down the border. Ever since she's been a part of it, we've had more people cross that border than we, we can even count. We don't know where these people are going. They just putting them on buses and shipping them north mm-hmm. all over the country. And how is that beneficial to, to our the country? American, because to the it, American to people. To the American people, because I, you, you, we're not taking care of the American people. The government is supposed to work for us, right? We are, we, 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 the people are, that, and that's what, that's what, that's what, what that, that's, that, what, <laughs> that's what that, uh, constitutional republic is about. We're, we, the people, we, we, the we the supposed pe- to be supposed running to it. Run, right. Yeah. And, um, they are running it. They are doing whatever it is whatever that they, they want. want to do. And they are bringing people, they are people who are trying to come into our country legally, having a hard time. Because they're letting people in and mm-hmm. then they're posting up in New York. I, I saw it was like a lot of, um, was it Africans? Yeah. They let in Africans. In New York. They let all kinds of people in there. And there's buildings, there's empty buildings and they're, they're allowing them to, like there was a whole shipment of bunk beds or something. Yeah. And I was like, is this, is this real? So and essentially they're, they're kicking out homeless people and in housing immigrants, illegal immigrants. So I'm like, what, what, like, what is, and so in my mind, I'm like, is this, is this real? Is what is happening? Oh, um, and we're, and like I said, we're looking at it and people are like, yeah, we're, we're, we, our borders are open. We're just going to let people in. Mm-hmm. But that means that we're not safe. Like I'm not on no scared type stuff, but just on safety. And you've seen, I, there was children who have been killed because of men who have come over here and you're finding with little no girls bo- with nothing. How yeah. like you're, we don't know you're who finding they are. little girls bodies. And then after the little girl is dead, oh, then you've apprehended them. Like, how does, how does this how does this make sense? And so now you have a mother and a father who's lost a child because of policy, right? Yeah. Because of policy that or we lack thereof, lack thereof hmm. of a policy that the American people are not saying, Hey, no, no, that's not going to work because it's not enough of us. I know this is how I feel. There's not enough of us really being loud. We're quiet. I was yeah. quiet. Cause shit, I was trying to figure it out. Like what, what, what do I do? Because when you really think of it, it, none of it makes any sense. It makes no sense. So for a second, you have to be like, not what is going on? Because what? at first when I thought, okay, if I speak out against it, Right. I'm wrong because we're supposed to help people. But mm-hmm. if you look at if you look at other borders, we cannot just go and they're not just going to let us in. We're going to be detained. We're going to be. Do you have your passport? Do you have all of this? And so it's like America, the United States of America, it, it seems like it's crumbling. And it seems like it's, it, we know it's the land of the free, but it ain't supposed to be free for everybody. You're supposed to come here because there are rules and regulations that and we, we all have we to have, follow. We have no more <laughs> rules. They're, 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 they're eliminating rules and expectations um, on one side of things. And we're continuing trying to champion those people when they clearly don't have our best interests at heart. And then we call the other side the Antichrist. Like, how can you be a Christian or believe in God and sign on to policies like the abortions? You mm-hmm. can you can kill your babies. Don't worry about it. If you have sex, just go ahead and go down to the abortion clinic and kill your baby because we know you don't want it. Um, now, the only thing when it comes to as far as abortion, when it comes to like uh, rape and stuff like that, then I feel like there should be something for that. But. On the other hand, according to my beliefs, it's almost like you should have that baby and give that baby up for adoption if you don't want that because of uh, traumas or whatever it is. But the re- I-, I think the reason why most women abort their babies is because if they have those babies, then that connection is there. And I don't want any connection to this, so I'm going to get it up out of me as soon as possible. But the very fact that you're killing your seed is the Antichrist. I mean, it's been set up. And um, I don't know if y'all know. Uh, I used to be, you know, women's rights. 
I don't know if I was ever a feminist at all. I don't think I was that like, no. Radical. But I always thought that women had the my right, body, my, my choice. body, my choice, yeah. right? If you feel that that's what you Until need to do. Until they flipped it upside down. If you feel that that's what you need to do, then you handle that, right? Mm -hmm. And that was my, my mindset. And then you start reading the Bible. Mm. And the Lord, I will always use this in Genesis. The Lord says, be fruitful and multiply, right? Marry a man. Where marry a man, woman, right? Do, those things are what yeah. you have to do in order. Mm -hmm. And so you start reading your Bible. You start um, following people who are, who align with what it is. And then you start getting the, the, the thinking of, oh, man, I've been wrong. Lord, my bad. Like I've been I did, bamboozled. I've, I've been bamboozled Swindled. because I thought Hoodwinked. if I... If I have this decision, I have a choice. Well, you also made a choice to to have sex, right? Absolutely. And you have a choice to um, use protection. Mm. You have a choice to say, ah, no, I don't want to do this because this isn't right. Because you know that's that's that's, that's yeah. fornication, right? So you have those are the choices. So before we get to the point of I must get rid of this baby, there's we a have whole a whole lot bunch of, pit of stops there's a before whole the bunch. Yeah. and then you have this option of okay, well I'm going to abort this baby. Well, the person who um how Roe v. Wade came about, Roe, was it Roe? Yeah, Roe. She was pregnant, y'all. Um, I don't know if y'all know this. She didn't even but abort. But she didn't abort her baby. So but this, she gonna tell you. But she told you and, to abort and, your baby. In the interview that we watched, she clearly says how uh, she was paid to put this out. And everybody bought it. Now you got abortion clinics everywhere. And they, it's, it's kind of crazy. Because most of them are in uh, low, low income, income mm -hmm. uh, neighborhoods, and y'all know who resides. Most, most of the people who reside in those areas. And then you have, I mean, if you have time, look up Margaret Sanger, look up Planned Parenthood, because mm -hmm. I was an advocate for Planned Parenthood, because you could go there, you could get birth control, you can go there and, and get, you know, get tested and all these other things. But the main thing, like, their, but their goal was like, you can come here and you can get an abortion. And I'm telling you, when you start, when you start feeling things and like, ah, that's wrong yeah. because that's murder. Like that is a like, and God says, Bloody murder. and God says at conception, that child is that child. Yeah. At mm -hmm. conception. So he, he's created it. And we, and, and women are ridding themselves of this, but there's still this part that of you that remembers, um, that remembers it. And it's, it is it's diabolical because we have all been fed a lie. And how do we recover? Well, if, if that is something that you have done, then repent and turn to Jesus and, and ask God to forgive you for your sins, right? For that sin for, because I'm not making an excuse, but we don't know any better because of what society is telling Absolutely. us. Absolutely. And, and we, we confide in, in these, we, we idolize all of these people. Yeah. And they're leading us in the wrong direction. We should not be, and the very fact that we have two different uh, sides of people arguing, nagging, and uh, wishing death upon each other because of someone that we idolize, that is crazy. Sin, and it's sin. Um, you shall not have any God's idols before me. Yeah. That's in one of the commandments. Mm -hmm. And I think one of, we're saying how the United States is crumbling. This I, I feel like everything that's happening is God's will. God is control of everything, right? That's why I say I'm not worrying, I'm not scared, because whatever is going to happen, hey, it's just going to happen. And some things aren't meant for the righteous to understand. Absolutely. <laughs> so absolutely look at Job. I just, um, <laughs> just let know, it do what it do. And so I think this is God's will. And there's not people are turning their backs on God. Mm -hmm. People are not believing in Jesus. And it's been that, happening. And it's it's been leading war. up. It, it's been leading up to this and it's getting a whole lot worse before it's going to get any better. So we have to, as people who believe, who really actually believe we have to get closer to that word because it, it's, it's a spiritual war out here. It's a spiritual it's war. It's a spiritual war, and a lot of people aren't equipped with the word and uh, um, the wherewithal to battle this 
what's happening. They just want to fight man. Like, and we think it. <laughs> we, we think it's good. For, we think right. one side is good and, and one side is evil. Right. But really, it's all a mess. It's all a mess. It's all. It's, it's, all, it's all, all evil. It's all evil. Yeah, and we and then you that that you have to choose the lesser of the evil. I don't I don't like that, but nah. because even on even on the red side, they're still um, pro choice mm-hmm. because they still believe in like that's why when you were saying with the rape thing, that's very rare that a woman becomes pregnant with rape. And um, I was listening to Ali Beth Stucky, and she made a very good point. How how would you why would you still give up that give up that child? Yeah, yeah. because the, it's still the, life. the Bible say God, the children are a blessing because it's still life. And so I was regardless like, of how they come about, regardless of how they come about, yeah. that is a child of God, like literally. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, I never thought of it like that because yeah. in my mind, I thought, well, that's you know, that's a, a that's burden a on a woman yeah, or whatever, yeah, yeah. you know. But it's like, no, if if. Because for whatever reason, God had planted that seed for that baby to be, become uh, to the earth. And it's a lot that's happening on earth. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's a lot. Um, the only way to get your mind together is only one way. Mm-hmm. It's only one way. That's it. That's Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. And that's why they want to take Jesus Christ and God out of everything. So you have no understanding of what's happening. And you so scared. They, they, they scare you. They usually scare tactics mm-hmm. to to make you emotional <laughs> enough. Project 20, 2025. Tw- like Project y'all. 2025. <laughs> they just be talking. Man. And then you have people just like, on the BET Awards. They had doggone uh, oh, uh, man. Taraji. Crazy woman Taraji get on there and try to put this out to people like it's actually something that Trump stands for. But whether he does or he doesn't, these people ain't your savior. They ain't here to save you. They're not going to change anything for you. Uh, So we have to stop confiding and idolizing these people, especially based on their skin color. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because it's say, just get your minds right. It ain't for you. <laughs> read like uh, go to y'all's libraries and read. Even do a Google search. Read just y'all. Information is in books. Hmm. Information is really in books. And and the education. You remember system, that old saying: If you don't want somebody to know something, put, put it, it in, in a book. book. And yeah. and put it in more, the middle of the book. The more that I read. The more I see yeah. and the more I'm saying, like, I was ignorant. I was and I would always tell you, I read books, but I wasn't reading books to gain information. I was reading books just to, hey, this, let me I read that, that. I, let me. That, but I'm reading books to gain information. And a lot of figures that we have put up on a pedestal are have socialist, socialist and Marxist values. Yeah. And it's that's what has crept into the, um, the United States of America. We are we are supposed to be a. a um, a country of capitalism and our young folks don't see that as bad. I'm, they don't see that as good. They don't want, they want, they don't want to have their own or own their own. That, they want to be partners. People, people don't realize <laughs> that socialism is dictatorship. It is. Absolutely. Marxism is dictatorship. Yes. So they're using these words to describe the other side, but really they're standing on the same principles. Like, Look into Black Lives Matter, y'all. Those are three women, and they s- tell you that they are Marxist. Hmm. They tell you that they've read the Com- uh, Communist Manifesto, which is the most boringest book in the whole... And I said boringest. That is the most boringest, boringest book in the whole wide world. And I don't understand how anybody in their right mind would want to take what that man said. It sounds good. I'm not beyond honest. It sounds good. Hmm. But realistically, when you just start put like, I, no, that book, that book boring. Yeah. So the moral of this episode is the get your Manifesto mind right. Is born. No, get your mind right. Uh, read. Find out what you're actually voting for. Yes. Because these people, they, I mean, they, they give you that word candy, and uh, what you is be a salad a word word salad. salad. That's mm-hmm. what Kamala Harris gave you. What has been unburdened by what could be. <laughs>
And we'll because catch- today is tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow is today, <laughs> yesterday. And yesterday was today, tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, but just Damn. a bunch of words. But uh, y'all should come back. Check us out next week. And uh, we'll be right here. And uh, like always, it's love, peace, and soul. Bye. Like soul train, baby.